30, 60, 90 degree triangle theorem. We're at 5.8 and we have 18 previous videos for chapter 5 that are in the geometry playlist. A 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle is another special right triangle. We just learned about the 45, 45, 90 in the last video, didn't we? That was a special right triangle. So this is another one. And we can use an equilateral triangle to find a relationship between its side lengths. So what we do is for the equilateral triangle, we draw an altitude. That's going to be our longer leg. This is going to be our shorter leg, and that's going to be our hypotenuse, isn't it? And since triangle PQS is congruent to triangle RQS, then PS is congruent to RS. We label the side lengths in terms of X. So that is X. That will be 2X. And we use the Pythagorean theorem to find Y our altitude, our longer leg. Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we're going to have x squared plus y squared equals 2x squared when we substitute the values. And then we multiply and combine like terms. So this 2x squared is going to be a 4x squared, isn't it? We could subtract x squared from each side to eliminate this as a zero pair and get y squared equals 3x squared. Now we find the square root of both sides, and this ends up just being a y, and this is equal to the square root of 3 times the square root of x squared, and it can simplify to x square root of 3. So y is equal to x square root of 3. And special right triangles appear in squares, equilateral triangles, hexagons, and other figures, and they're used in three-dimensional shapes and in trigonometry. So here's our theorem. In a 30 degree, 60 degree, and 90 degree triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is two times the length of the shorter leg. So this is S, that's 2S. And the length of the longer leg, this blue one, is the length of the shorter leg times square root of 3. So that's S times square root of 3. We can't apply these formulas to any right triangles. These relationships only work when the angles are 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, or like in our previous video, 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees. We can find the side lengths in a 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle. We find the values of X and Y and give the answers in the simplest radical form. So first take a look at the diagram. Shorter leg is X longer one is y, hypotenuse is 16. We can see it's a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. So the hypotenuse is 16 and according to our theorem it's equal to 2 times the shorter leg, isn't it? Which is an x. So it's equal to 2x. We can divide by the coefficient 2 and find that x is equal to 8. So now we know x is 8. Now let's find y. According to our theorem, the longer leg is equal to the shorter leg times the square root of 3, and since x is 8, that means it's equal to 8 square root of 3. Let's try this one. We have a longer leg of 11, a shorter leg of x, and a hypotenuse of y. We can see it's a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And the longer leg is equal to the shorter leg times the square root of 3, so it's 11. 11 equals x times square root of 3. Now, we can divide both sides by the square root of 3. That's going to cancel out as a 1, isn't it? So we have 1x on this side, and we'll have 11 over square root of 3 on this side. Now we can rationalize the denominator to get rid of this square root as the denominator and multiply in a form of 1, and we'll get 11 times square root of 3 over 3 for x. So that is the value of x. To find y, we know 2x equals y because the hypotenuse equals 2 times the shorter leg. So y is the hypotenuse. It's going to be 2 times the shorter leg, and if x is 11 square root of 3 over 3, then we need 2 times 11 square root of 3 over 3. We multiply this by 2, and y is equal to 22 square root of 3 over 3 when we simplify it, okay? So remember, if two triangles are not congruent, the shorter side lies opposite the smaller angle. So this shorter side lies opposite that smaller angle, that 30 degree angle, see? So take a look at this clock. This is an equilateral triangle, isn't it, the frame? So 
The frame of this clock is an equilateral triangle, and the length of one side of the frame is 20 centimeters. Will this clock fit on a shelf that is 18 centimeters below the shelf above it? So the first thing we're going to do is divide the equilateral triangle into two 30, 60, 90 triangles, like this. And the height of the frame is the length of the longer leg. So that's going to be our B, or our height, okay? It's the altitude of the triangle. We know the hypotenuse is 20. So we need to find the length X of the shorter leg. Well, the hypotenuse is equal to 2 times the shorter leg, and if that's 20, then 20 equals 2x. We can divide by the coefficient 2 here and find that x is equal to 10. Now we know x is equal to 10, we can find the length h of the longer leg. That longer leg is equal to the shorter leg times the square root of 3, isn't it? And if x is 10, it's going to equal 10 times the square root of 3. We put that into our calculator and get approximately 17.3 centimeters. So this clock frame is approximately 17.3 centimeters tall, so the clock will fit on the shelf because we had a space of 18 centimeters, okay? Now we need to find the perimeter and area of a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle with a hypotenuse length of 28 centimeters. So if it doesn't give you a diagram, make one. And just use some common sense. We know the hypotenuse is 28, and we're, because it's a 30, 60, 90, we're going to use an equilateral triangle, right? So that means every side is 28. But then we need to find the longer length of this leg, right, as our B, as our height. So the perimeter is going to equal all the way around. And it's not all the way around the entire equilateral triangle. It's only around the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So we're not going to count this part of the triangle, okay? only this part. So if this is 28 and it's equal to 2 times this, then we can cut this in half or multiply it by a half to find A, can't we? So A is going to be half times 28 or 14. So now we know we've got 28 plus 14 plus H. That means we have 42 plus H. To find H, the height, the longer leg is equal to the shorter leg times the square root of 3. And if that's 14, it's 14 times the square root of 3. So our perimeter is 42 plus 14 square root of 3. Now we need to find the area, because it wanted both. Well, the area for a triangle is half base height, isn't it? So we need half of 14 times the height 14 square root of 3. Half times 14 is 7. 7 times 14 is 98. We have 98 square root of 3 as the area. Okay? So if we know the Pythagorean theorem, we can find formulas for the side lengths of special right triangles. 45, 45, 90 degree has two equal legs. And you can think about that it has two equal angle measures, and that will remind you of the two equal legs. And the 30, 60, 90 degree has a hypotenuse two times the shorter leg. And if you're having trouble with simplifying these square roots and these radicals, go to Ch Algebra 1, Chapter 11, and get yourself a review because we're going to get more and more difficult, okay? Our next lesson is 5.8c, and we're going to graph irrational numbers, and then we're going to be going into Chapter 6. So did you write down that triangle theorem to use in the future for your notes? I hope so. And... As always, have a great day, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, hit that like button, will ya?